Alright guys, uh, thanks to the popularity of my last YouTube tutorial video, I've got a pretty overwhelming response from you guys saying that you want more. Hold on, my microphone is slipping here. It's falling over mostly. Uh, okay, it's more or less still fucked. Um, but we can get on with this. Anyway, I'll just lower my chair because it's breaking my neck to lay, lay down like that. Okay. Alright. Oh, I got my neck here. So, first of all, I want to say, um, show and finder, that there is a bit of a compatibility issue that might be upcoming with the new line release of, of uh, OS X. Uh, if you're a Mac user, this is relevant to you. Um, yeah, so um, the problem is that the current version of Ableton Live, Ableton 8, and all of its uh, subdivisions, 8.1.3, etc., um, when they wrote the program, actually, they used the Cyrillic character that looks like the letter L. It's not an actual English L. That's a, a Unicode Cyrillic L. That was a mistake that they made. And it's currently, it is fine, no problems on the current OS. But if you're going to be upgrading, you might want to rename that. Uh, get info here. Take that name, live.app. That's a Cyrillic L. You can't tell. It looks identical to our English L, but it's just some other... It's it sounds like a K in Russian, but you can delete that and type in a regular L. But if you're already here, you might as well. I mean, uh, future proof it. You don't know what those other letters are, so I'm going to call it um, something that I've known. I've tested this, and some other people have tested this out, and they have had known issues. If you're running uh, Ableton Live in Lion operating system, if you call it Clark Gableton Live. So go ahead and rename that. Uh, are you sure you want to rename it? Yeah, change it while it's open. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Just rename it while it's open. Okay, Clark Gableton Live. Let's see, Live. Okay, it didn't reset there. Uh, save changes. It's, we've done absolutely nothing here, so we're going to want to save that because we haven't made any changes to Live set. So, yes, I want to save. Save that. It's going to close. Can I hear me? Okay, um, just gonna, tr tr we lost a little time there, um, that didn't actually change anything, it's still called live here, but, um, I learned, I learned a valuable lesson, um, I hope we all learned our lesson here, um, prepare things in advance, L get your shit done before you start recording, I probably, I, okay, my other video is still uploading, um, you probably should take care of this shit in advance, oh my god, fuck, uh, YouTube is open. Okay, so that was just a okay. We're on an untitled file. We're gonna make this. Um, while we're on the subject of Unicode, unit unit here, we're gonna want to save our file as uh, so we don't lose this project. If, um, on a different folder now. Go back to the old one. That one's good. Um, want to save your project before you start working on it. That way, you are always in the habit of saving. Um, there's my Gmail. You can just take a um shit, shit. Get something. Let's go to anything that's not my gmail in this case like okay that's uh she's got a touch screen um don't show your personal information in your youtube in your videos that's probably the first thing you don't want to do i'm going to use you have them here g um and unicode okay we're going to want to name this uh this particular uh program this uh session 
uh, Unicode Snowman. Um, and I know a lot of pe people are into using the free assets, utilizing some free like beat packs you can get on the internet. You know, you can go to like Beatport or whatever. You get some like royalty free samples, pay for those. Or you like to get some free things. Here is a um, Unicode Snowman. Oh, I can't remember the site. Unicode Snowman for you dot com. Um, yeah, so I just proved to you that this is a real link. I'll type this in here. Unicode Snowman for you dot com. Um, this is a great resource um, for any of you aspiring beat makers out there. A, I'm just going to control command C that, but I'll also show you here. Um, um, great, great resource if you need Unicode Snowman for your projects. I can't, I can't paste that character in. Okay, there we go. It won't let me command V it for some reason, but I can copy paste it. So this is good. This pro project is going to be three Unicode Snowmen in there. And this is good if you wanna if you're if you wanna be like obscure like on purpose you know, like you're gonna you want you're gonna wanna like throw this up on on iTunes but you don't want it to be too easy to find you don't want too many people to download it but you still you wanna get a little bit of money off of that so you can like upload that to iTunes and like be like grandma look at my thing my web my song you can download it it's just like three Unicode snowmen but she won't be able to find that she don't know what's going on and like grandma I thought you were gonna listen and you break my heart but and then also like some people will download it when they find it and they might. They probably won't give you any money for it. Um, yeah, so you should probably make a song here. Let's just go. Um, let's show you some great resources here. While you're, um, you said you can, you know, you like, you like to use the resource, and you like to get on the beatport. Um, looking for a good resource. There's this great site called YouTube.com. May have been there, and you can find things that people like. So let's just visit Lonely Island. Junior high school buddies turn SNL stars in Lonely Island have made a career out of making a scuffle, snicker, and snore. Check out Q&A with the band as well as their all-time favorite videos. So here's a great re uh, resource for completely royalty-free, copy uncopyrighted material. Um, YouTube.com, and what you're gonna want to do is get this thing called Soundflower. Soundflower from Cycling 74. Um, Download that. It's, it's okay, I downloaded already. Okay. Um. Oh my god. All right. <coughs> what you want to do is you. I have that installed already. Okay, it's installed. You know how to install it. You can do it. You can you can like command comma and you can go to you you know use your audio settings here and um um soundflower input input on the audio soundflower two. Hey everybody, we're the guys from the Lonely Island. My name's Yorma. I'm Andy. I'm Akiva. And we're here to present some videos that we like on YouTube. YouTube's the best because it has so many videos. Why don't you watch some of them? Right Check. now. Check it out. Check it out. Awesome. <laughs> 